Good morning from lovely, beautiful Colorado. I just left my hotel and decided to take a walk and put on some beautiful meditations. Started stretching my body from being in hotel rooms at a beautiful, amazing conference all weekend. Enjoying the nature of Colorado and um, continuing to feel the synchronicities and coincidences of and the beauty of being in the present moment and choosing to be happy and recognizing that worry and anxiety live in the past or the future and that all is well in the present moment. And with this presence, I have been listening a lot to Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditations. And with my wealth of knowledge of Dr. Donnie Epstein's work, the coming together and colliding of these two massive technologies is just freaking wild. And it's awesome. So I am wandering around, beautiful water. There is mountains in the background. And I end up stopping and sitting on this bench and drifting into the most beautiful meditation. And when I came out, I looked down and there was a plaque. And this bench was dedicated to someone who passed away on August 18th, 2000, my birthday. Last night I got into a hotel shuttle, was talking to the driver on my birthday, and it was his birthday. And I'm just loving that the universe is just giving me these joyful moments to just smile and be happy and to understand the synchronicities of this wild universe that we live in. And happy that I'm present enough to get it. And then also to be living with a sense of curiosity and wonderment and joy of the yet unknown and to be revealed, right? So walking around on this planet with curiosity and wonderment and joy and, and just saying, okay, what's the universe going to provide next is so delightful versus trying to figure out your next move and you plan your next move and it's just tiring and, um, takes a lot of energy and it's not as magical. So taking time to sit and envision and get to know who you are, your emotions, your thoughts, what you want in life, who you want to be, what you want to create, and then allowing the universe to weave that for you and taking your hands off the wheel. I do not know how this is all going to show up, but I do know the why. And my why is liberation and joy and purpose and passion. My why is to be of high service to humanity. And that being said, in my meditation, I was being asked by Dr. Joe Dispenza to generate thoughts and generate emotions to develop this future of mine that I want. And when I said joy and liberation, my whole body lit up and it was effortless and easy and is on. The emotion matched the thought. When I said abundance and um, relief of all student loan debt and all debt, my body, yep, joy, liberation, freedom, it matched the thought. The emotion and the thought matched. It's going out into the energetic field. It feels coherent. It's going to happen, no doubt. But then I said massive service to humanity and my power center just froze. It got tight. So I realized there's a dissonance there. There's not a coherency in that energetic field. So I had to stop. And while I want to be visioning my future and not a slave to my past, I had to realize that that past was showing up in my present. So if the past is showing up in the present, then you have to take a look at it and you have to unwind it. That doesn't mean that you're lingering in negative thoughts or negative emotions or lower vibration emotions. It means that you're, you're, you're settling some energies and bringing coherency so that you can put out into the field exactly the higher vibrational thoughts, emotions, and actions that you want. So I said in my mind... I want to be of massive levels of service to humanity. And my body said, oh, hell no. So I put my hands on my power center and I checked in and I said the words, I'm not worthy. And my body indicated, yep, you're kind of getting there. And I said, sometimes I need help. And my body loosened up. I'm not worthy. My body loosened up. I'm not enough. And my body loosened up. So just by spending 10 seconds with my hands on my own power center and honoring those parts of myself that don't feel worthy, don't feel like they're enough and feel like I need help, my body loosened up. And then I was able to attempt again, thought of the future. I want to be of massive levels of service to humanity and check in with the emotion. 
It wasn't totally free. It wasn't as effortless and easy as when I say financial freedom and abundance, which is, seems effortless and easy and come in my way. So I'm just checking in and just being aware of that. And that's what this whole thing is about, growing and developing and, and learning and just recognizing, okay, there are parts of me that aren't quite there yet. I'm not quite there yet and ready to be of massive levels of service to humanity. And that's okay. Just having that knowledge, just having that wisdom, just saying this is where I'm at today, but I did unwind some old patterns of unworthiness. And then move right back into the future, move right back into the present, and continue the meditations and continue exploring what I am ready for in this moment. When I say joy, my body says, hell yeah. When I say liberation, my body says, fuck yeah. When I say love and intimacy and abundance, my body's like, yeah, let's do it. We're on. And I find those things in my life more and more and more every single day. So it's really a, a beautiful moment in time for me. Um, really amazing birthday. Being out in Colorado, um, being in community with my chiropractic brothers and sisters. One of the most passionate, loving groups of people I've ever met. I spent an hour on the couch talking to Irene Gold. And for all of you chiropractors out there that know of her work, that they, she helped you get through chiropractic school. That woman is amazing. Um, the sister Donnie, I've seen a bunch this weekend, had a blast with him. Really, 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 really amazing. And um, like a honing pigeon for all of you network chiropractors, I ended up back at the Westin Hotel last night and um, it feels safe and it feels, it feels great. So I wish you all an absolutely wonderful day. If you have a thought today that makes you feel crappy, change the thought. Think about puppies if you need to. Do whatever you need to do to feel good. You're on this planet to feel good and be good. Love you. Bye.